Yo, are we rolling? It is your girl Raina and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a Raina's Ramble. I'm gonna tell you guys some things that I use to stay organized and happy in my life. The first thing we're gonna talk about is a planner. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of my planner because it is gleaming of school spirit and I don't really like to expose where I go to school or any of that personnel information, okay? Pretty much, if you go to a university, the majority of the time they have free planners, so definitely take advantage of your tuition, boo, because that is where your tuition dollars are going and you better utilize what is going on at your school. And also a good thing about school planners is that they tell you about the different activities. Well, mine does. It's like, oh, there's a movie on the lawn today. It's just kind of cool. Like. Oh, it tells you general election campaigning begins. So I guess um, school elections are starting. So president of like student council or something, or not student council, student government and stuff like that. So if you're interested in stuff like that, you would know when all of those are going down or if you're interested in supporting somebody, you know, just things that help you be a better, well-rounded human being, okay? Okay, so I didn't want to show you too much of my planner, but I just wanted to show you like little things that I put inside my planner to kind of keep me on track you know for example like about praying and no napping because I do take a lot of naps but sometimes I can't take naps because I am really busy that doesn't look like a lot but these these things take a long time and I also have cute little notes for um, you know like just to stay motivated and things like this to like read Quran today enough about the planner now let's get on to something that helps me personally as a Muslim woman and it is my praying app it is called Adhan I think that's what it's called I don't know my phone is on the charger right now hold on let me grab my phone I'm back hey yes. so the app is called Adhan A T H A N Okay, so there is like a slight glare. I don't know how to get rid of that, but this is what the app looks like. So as you can see, it says Fajr, Zuhur, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. And those are the names of the five prayers that Muslims have to pray, you know, five times a day. So they do have names. And these are the times that they have to be prayed at. So it keeps me on track. And it also helps me log myself to see like where I'm slacking, where I'm not slacking, you know. Just kind of helping me to pray more. Okay, the ads obviously are outrageous, but you know, whatever. And a new thing that they added on their app is their dua. So for those of you who don't know what a dua is, it's um, pretty much little things that you can say that is not a part of your five times a day prayer. So like, let's say if I'm about to take a test, it will say like, oh, there's one for test. Like there's just different categories. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's just like different categories. Like this one's the one for travel. I say this one literally every time before I get into the car, before I go to clinicals. I think it's just really cool. Another thing that I like is that even if you don't read Arabic, in this in this green section, it tells you how to say it like phonetically. That also helps me organize my time because it allows me to plan around my like when I'm planning, for example, like if I'm planning my day out, it's like, okay, so this day, this time I need to go pray and do Fajr or Zohar or whatever I'm doing. And I can like do it based off of like, okay, at this time I can go home and I can go home and eat and pray and then I can go back to school or, you know, like just different things like that. So it's, it's, it's cool. It's great. And I love it. Also, the very last thing is a dry erase calendar. I think that helps me a lot. Sometimes things just kind of sneak up on you, you know, and... This helps me a lot, so hold on, let me show you guys mine. I love this dry erase calendar. And it has a little cork board at the bottom, and I say like things like goodbye January, hello February, happy Valentine's Day, yesterday, yesterday was Valentine's Day, so you guys know when I'm filming this. Hola! But I also write myself a little note over here, because it is kind of a busy month, it doesn't look like it, but it's a lot of assignments and things like that do. So I say like busy month, but smile because you are so blessed and stay strong and remain humble. So yeah. I do like to write myself little notes like that just because it reminds you to 
stay strong but also be humble when you're doing great like when you're doing good like don't brag about it like I don't like to brag bragging is like really corny to me but yeah I really like having like a giant erase board and I put it at my desk so if something creeps up on me or I can write something down like oh it's so-and-so's birthday so I gotta remember to either go get a gift or text them happy birthday you know stuff like that so you know yes I love it I love it. Alright you guys, that is the end of this video. I love you guys. I love you guys so much and I'm sorry I don't post as much as I do, but I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm struggling a little bit, but it's okay. You know, life gets crazy and I'm making it. I'm alive. I'm still breathing. I'm not malnourished. You know, I'm doing great and I'm trying. That's all I can say. I'm giving it my best shot. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys had a great day. Have positive vibes. No negative ones because positivity makes the world go around. Bye, 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 shway. Happy Valentine's Day. Peace.